But of course, we're talking about the snow for tomorrow and the big event coming our way on April 8th. Everyone's excited about it. Yeah, yeah the right. solar eclipse of 2024 almost here. Of course, it's going to cross over Illinois. Yeah, it is. That's April 8th, just about a five hour drive from Chicago yeah. to get that true experience. We're just outside the path, but we'll still see something here. You know, right? About 93 to 94 percent of the sun will be covered by the moon here in Chicago. And you'll need the protective gear like a solar visor like this or the glasses if you're going to look at the sun at all here in Chicago during the eclipse. But if you're downstate, if you're in that path of totality, you won't need these glasses for at least that brief period of time when we're in totality. Looking directly into the sun is never recommended, but come eclipse day, that's all you'll want to do. Sunglasses absolutely are not enough. Instead, you'll need solar viewers or solar glasses that have filters made especially for viewing the sun. These kinds of filters are blocking almost all of the light that is coming into them. And if you happen to have them on hand, welders masks are a good option too. Welders glass of a scale of 13 or 14 is safe for viewing the sun as well, but you have to be careful that you are not using any lower grades of that welding material. And that protection is essential. If you look at the sun with your naked eye for a moment, you won't go blind immediately. It's immediately going to start causing damage. The only exception, if you're in the path of totality, you can look at the sun with your naked eye only during those brief moments when the moon is completely blocking the sun. In Chicago, we'll only experience a partial solar eclipse with about 94% coverage. It's really important if you have binoculars or telescopes that you understand how to safely use them for viewing the sun. If you look at it through a telescope, you will go blind in that eye essentially immediately. There are filters available to put on the front of your telescope or binoculars. There are also filters to help protect your DSLR type cameras. Your phone camera should be okay, but the best bet is to put it down and just enjoy. Nature feels off. Nature is doing something differently than you expect. It's so many things kind of hitting you at once. It only lasts a few minutes, so you're like trying to savor every moment of it. It truly really is an unreal experience. It's so unusual to be in that presence of the sun being completely blocked during the middle of the day. So you want to get your glasses here and you want to have a, the right proper pair of glasses or solar viewers. And we've got a link on our website where you can find glasses that have been certified as solar glasses or viewers. I also want to tell you too that Cheryl, Greg and I will be covering the solar eclipse starting on Sunday, April 7th. Of course, the eclipse is on the 8th. I'm heading down to Carbondale for Southern Illinois University's event. Greg's heading to Indiana and Cheryl will be at the Adler Planetarium with all the events that are going on locally here. But these glasses, uh, Rob and Judy, I tell you, you put them on. Yeah. It's completely black. You can't see anything. Right now it's completely cannot, black. There's no light that gets through. Only the sun's wow. light would get through glasses like this that you could even see. Yeah. Right. I was trying to it. I was trying to it. They're actually yeah. kind of cool looking. Yeah, they look good on you. <laughs> like, like glasses from Dune or something <laughs> like that. And, you're, so, and this as well, when I hold it, I can't see anything. Right. But when and you look up, you yeah, you'll, you'll see it when you look up okay. right into that. Yeah. All right. Looking forward to the coverage. Well, I like so it. Exciting. It's exciting. Right. It's such a great I know you're excited too. Thanks, Larry. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago. Eyewitness News.